Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is time for tea. Always take some time out for yourself, whether it's to have some tea or some coffee or have a piece of chocolate and sit down and eat it, you know, keep it away from everybody else because it's yours. Whatever you do, take some time for yourself. Yes, I know, I have dark circles. There's no concealer today. There's just the minimal, minimal makeup, which is like eyeliner. It's like, yeah, that's pretty much it. Had a very busy weekend, a uh, wonderful weekend. Got to go to Greenville and do a little shopping and got to eat downtown. And yes, that was very nice. Now today's tea, and today's crazy. I did start officially in my new position this morning. So I am now a supervisor. I'm in management at the same company and uh, hectic, crazy, but it's all good. It is all good. Uh, today's tea will help give me some more energy because it is high caffeine. Yes, it is. I'm recording this at lunchtime, by the way. Um, the tea, by the way, comes from Sips By. It is not a uh, sponsored post. I pay for this out of my own cashy money. Although if somebody wanted to sponsor, hello, I'd be happy to have it. Anyhow, back to the tea. With Sips By, you put in your preferences and stuff and they pick you four teas and you get like four servings of each tea every month and they get you a little card this was from august i'm finally getting into my august teas i have been behind and then it says made for deborah and i've got four of them now what i choose is pretty much anything loose leaf tea bag whatever you got send it to me i'm happy to try it that's pretty much mine <clears throat> now today's tea was a loose leaf tea oh and they also send you um like disposable tea bags that you can use if you don't have a tea a tea ball or doohickey my only beef about this is that uh it is not a resealable top or anything this is what it looked like here okay and i will seal it back up because i don't want it to go to waste oh it smells delightful sunny sangria black tea by the fava tea company and that is fava tea.com okay it says flavor profile sweet fruity and delightful I would agree with that just from smelling it and they also give you instructions on here on how to make iced tea with it yeah I think this would make a wonderful iced tea just from the smell I have not tasted it yet I also haven't showed you the mug I just wanted to seal that up so that I didn't get it everywhere let's read about it here oh there's the beep I don't think it is steeped quite enough it says five to seven minutes that was five we'll just let it keep going yep still a little bit light See, my mug says relax on it. Just wanted to show you that. We're just gonna let it sit a little bit longer. Sunny Sangria Black Tea sips by Fava Tea. Uh, one teaspoon per eight ounces of water. It says 208 degrees on here. On the packet, it says 212. It says to boil, so, you know. This says steep three minutes. That says steep five to seven. Hmm, I'm gonna go by the packet that it came with instead of the, usually this has some good info though. Uh, and you can re-steep two times. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, black tea, blackberries, pineapple cubes, mango cubes, pineapple and mango flakes, orange slices, freeze-dried tangerine orange pieces, safflower, marigold blossoms, freeze-dried strawberry slices, blackberry leaves, and natural flavoring. That's a lot packed into that tea. Oscar, do you need to be up here, buddy? Come here. He's pawing at me. Hi, you guys say hi to your friends? Look. Yeah. Oh, he's a happy boy. Hi. Mm-hmm. Mama has a flavor. Okay. Y'all done? Get down now? Go take a nap. You need one. You look like you need one. I need one. What are you kidding me? All right. It also says high caffeine. Featuring blackberries, black tea, and exotic fruits. Exotic? I don't know. I don't think the pineapple and mango are that exotic, but that could just be me. Uh, this tea is blended to perfection with delightful notes of citrus and a fresh, sweet flavor combination. It makes a great iced tea. There you have it. It smells delightful. Oh, it smells so fruity and wonderful and yet it's still a black tea because a lot of times you get these in their green teas or there's something else my little clothespin so that i can not let this fall in let's uh give it another little dippy do there 
it has been long enough according to the directions. And when I pull out my tea bags, I don't squeeze them to squeeze the life out of them. I just make it where they're not dripping super much so that I can set them on my little plate. Now, we know this is going to be too hot and it's going to burn my face off, but I'm going to try anyway. It looks golden almost. Hmm. Oh, but that smell. I would love for this to be like a scentsy smell. Yeah, y'all scentsy, get on this. Mm hmm It's still too hot. Of course, I had, I had to do this when I ate my ramen yesterday, too. I had, well, actually, I had udon. I didn't have ramen. But it was so hot. I'm like, dudes, I do not have an asbestos mouth. I have to let it cool off a little first. You get the fruitiness in it. Um, the fruitiness almost overpowers the black tea taste. Now I'm gonna sweeten this because I think it needs it. This is my generic Aldi brand sweetener uh, for Stevia. It's not Stevia, basically. Okay. Let the crystals dissolve in there. And they do dissolve pretty well. It just takes a few seconds. Only the biggest ones are left. Okay. Let's see what it tastes like with a little sweetener. Ooh, that little bit of sweetener really amps up the flavors. All of them. They're just all bigger and brighter. Like when you add salt to your food, it just says, oh, you want to taste that flavor? Here it is some more. Boom. It's kind of like what that was for this. Mm. I could totally see this being an iced tea. It's great hot, but I could totally see it being an iced tea. Now, I do want to add, oh, this is very full, um, some of my sugar-free vanilla creamer because I like adding creamer to things like, like coffee and tea. Oh, I've got a leak. I don't have the lid on here. Well, there we go. And I've made a mess. Yay. Real life, folks. This is real life. We make a mess. Oh, I've got creamer all over my hands because the lid wasn't on there very well, which is my own doing. Pardon me while I wipe up creamer off of everything. At least there's no sugar in it and it's not dairy, so it's not going to get really super stinky or anything before I change clothes at the end of the day. All right, now, good grief. Let's see if I can do this with it being this full. It still wants to come out. It's too full. And I'm going to take that spoon out so you can really see the clouds forming because I love it. I love it so much. The satisfying look of the creamer going through the tea. I love it. And boy, that because it's such a light colored tea, that really turns into, oh, cup of cream. But I didn't put that much in. Mm. That is perfection. Mm. And almost cools it down enough for me to drink. Almost. <laughs> that is yummy. Sunny Sangria Black Tea. Nice. So if you like black tea, or if you even just kind of like black tea, um, but you like fruity flavors too, this might be the one for you. Mm. And I told you about the tea bags that they send you with. You get a container of these, or a packet of them, and it's actually packed in one that's reusable. That's a cloth tea bag. So. You can use one over and over again. If you have a tea ball, you can use that, but they'll send you those as well. So it's never a big risk to get loose tea because they're making sure you've got something to, to use with it. Mm. So if you're watching on Monday, how's your Monday going so far? Are you hanging in there? <laughs> We're having system issues because of course we are. Um, you know, 
And uh, my boss was helping me approve time this morning because that's one of your supervisor jobs. Only I don't have access to the system to do that yet. <laughs> because that's a thing. It always takes you a few extra days to get access to the things you need access to. So we were going through that. So she made sure I knew how to do it, which it's not hard. It's just, okay, where do you find this piece? Where do you find this piece? And put it all together. So yeah, stressful, but not over stressful, you know? Just stressful as like a new position and, and a new responsibility can be and it's exciting because I've never I've never been a salary employee before that's new um, so yeah but this weekend not to go out I spent way too much money on oils and vinegars oh yes I love oils and vinegars and see the ramen place we were going to it closes in the middle of the day it's like it's open for lunch and then it's open for dinner but in the middle they're closed so, well, they don't open for another half an hour. Oh, look, across the street, it's the oil and vinegar store. Hmm. Yeah, I went over there and spent over $100. But I did get some limoncello vinegar and some lemon, lemon vinegar. Y'all know I'm a lemon fanatic. And I got some wonderful oils. And, oh, y'all, they, they, they give you tastings of stuff, too. Have you ever tasted 25 year aged balsamic? Whoa, I know it's not tea, but it is a whole experience like that. I mean, the people who do like wine tastings and stuff, it's kind of on that level, only it's vinegars. I love vinegar. You're not drinking a whole glass while you're getting a little taste because it's so intense. That 25 year is almost syrupy. Oh, no, I did not buy any of that because I'm not spending $50 on one bottle of vinegar. No. Although I wanted to. Oh, did I want to? We also had ice cream while we were out. Had the ramen, walked down to the ice cream place and had ice cream. This isn't just any ice cream. Oh no. They, you pick your flavors and, your, and things that they mix in because there's all kinds of stuff you can get in there. Mine actually had chocolate pie in it. Yeah but they put it on an anti-griddle and they, they work it up and they make it into sort of ice cream and then they roll it using what looks like uh, spacklers tools. Yeah, but they it ends up in rolls and they put the rolls in a cup and then you eat those. And it's wonderful. It's a lot of fun. It's expensive for ice cream, but it's the experience and you get to kind of choose what you want. Um, what did Jamie have? He had, Oh, he wanted Cookie Monster, which had Oreo cookies in it, okay? I had like Chocolate Lover's Delight or something, which was chocolate pie in chocolate ice cream with chocolate shavings and some chocolate pocky stuck in the top. Yeah. Because of course I did. And then we walked some more. Good thing, because yeah, the, that was a lot. But it was delicious and it was just a treat. It's something I would definitely not do all the time. But this, I would definitely do this all the time. This is so tasty. Hey, thank you for taking a little time out of your day to spend some time for tea with me. Take some time for tea. Sit down. If you, if you crochet, if that's your relax, sit down. Shut the world out for five or ten minutes. Yeah, I know it's hard sometimes. But just do your thing and enjoy. You got to treat yourself. And tea is a good way to treat yourself without spending a ton of money like I do sometimes. But it's delicious and it's calming. And in this case, it has a lot of caffeine, which I need today because it's Monday. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by and enjoy your time with me today. Uh, hopefully, I will see you very, very soon. Tomorrow, we'll be snacks around the world. That's right. And possibly the hand again. Although, I don't know, it depends on how he's feeling and whether or not he's up to it. But we shall see. And I will see you very soon. Bye, y'all.